classification final and what a battle we have on our hands because we have the Paralympic record holder and the world record holder both swimming but they're separated by another athlete who's qualified the fastest for this event so who will it be you see the start list there for Starkis, Martinez, Tajuelo, Lee Huang, Viren Radit, Boni Huang and Fredriksson. Mikkel Fredriksson from Sweden, he was eighth at the World Championships, he's from the Gothenburg Swim Club. He was, this is his third final and the third of four events in total. He's swimming here in Rio. Ioannis Kostakis, 44. He's had two seventh places here. He was fourth in Beijing and Athens. He would love to feature in the medals. Huang Chowen, he was the bronze medalist in the 50 metres back, uh, breaststroke, hails from Guangxi province, 23 years of age. Swimming in lane two, we have Miguel Angel Martinez Tajuelo. Swimming in his third Paralympic game, still chasing his first medal, regular feature of the finals. 3.46.26 was his qualification time. Vincenzo Boni will swim in lane six. He won a bronze here already at Rio. He was the bronze medalist at the World Championships in 2015. And another medal contender. Li Han Hua is the world record holder, the world record mark set in 2010. So it stood for a while, the gold and bronze medal so far in Rio, the silver medalist in Beijing. 3.15.19 is his qualification time. Dimitri Vinoraditz already has a gold, a silver and a bronze here. He's the Beijing gold medalist, a strong sprinter. We know this uh, has the second fastest qualification time. And Huang Wenpang, who did post the quickest qualification time, has three gold medals and one silver already. So we know that he is in sensational form at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. And uh, this is the second last event. He will swim in Rio. Confirmation of those records there. So Vino Raditz set that record in 2008. So it's now stood for eight years, the Paralympic record. And Lee Han Hua swam that time in 2010. So Huang is the fastest qualifier will swim in lane four. To his right will be Lee. Vino Raditz in five, so three Chinese swimmers in total. One from Greece, Spain, Ukraine, Italy and Sweden. So the option of a block start or at the wall in the pool decision left up to athletes and their coaches. Well, this is the 200 metres freestyle S3 classification and up and striking well already is Vino Raditz, who's in lane five, the Paralympic record holder, but there's not a lot in it at the early stage as all swimmers look to find their rhythm. Of course, there are varying options, this being a freestyle event for selection of stroke. Athletes may choose which technique they will use. And it looks as though in lane three, Li Han Hua also is off to a really good start in this first 50. But across the pool, Li Han Hua, Huang Wenpang and Vina Raditz, as expected, are going to stay quite close to each other coming into the first turn. Well, Vinaradets is the class act in the pool right now, but uh, Huang Wenpan has been swimming very quickly at Rio 2016. Bear in mind, all those the gold medals that he won have come in uh, world record time, including the relay swim that he helped China claim in the 4x50 mixed relay. 
but his gold in the 53 was impressive his gold in the 50 uh, breast was impressive as well and by substantial world record times at that Vinner Odets though is swimming at a very very strong pace and the gold medalist of 2008 is looking very strong this event not naturally contested in London 2012 as you say but coming back eight years later Vinner Odets still very much at the top of his game and he'll be expecting to claim that gold he'll believe he can win over Huang Wenpan who is challenging hardest, qualified quickest, and indeed touches second within striking distance of Vinner Odets. At the moment, they've lost Li Hanwha and they've lost Vincenzo Boni, who are expected to be challengers. Boni going for the backstroke in this uh, freestyle event, while uh, Li Hanwha opting to swim freestyle, and at the moment breathing in every second stroke. But it's a fairly furious pace here from Vinner Odets and Huang Wenpan, but a real battle on, uh, on his hands. Vinner Odets now, 10-time Paralympic Games medalist, somebody who's a three-time Paralympic Games champion. He knows what it takes to win a race, to close out a race, but he's having a real battle against somebody who is in prime form at Rio 2016. Well, Huang in the second length of the pool actually looked as though he was in danger of losing touch with Vina Raditz, but it certainly hasn't been the case. The third 50 has been very telling for Huang. He's picked up the tempo of his stroke. Vina Raditz in comparison has just kept the same line he's kept the same stroke rate which is a, a long and it's fair to say a relaxed stroke he's enjoyed the clean water out in front of him but look at this so Huang again appears to just be picking up that stroke rate again and they're well in front of world record pace still 25 left to swim but look at this from Huang Huang is absolutely putting on the pace here look at this he's opening up a huge lead in front of Vino Raditz in these last 25 metres. What a brave swim and gee, it kind of absolutely smash the world record. Look at this. A clinical display. Huang, well, we knew he was the quickest qualifier coming into this, but did we know he could swim quite that quick? So Vino Radix claims the silver and the bronze will go to Lee from China. So it's one and three for China and a silver to Ukraine. A sensational swim from Huang, smashing the world record, and another record falls on day eight. Well, for Huang Wenpan, it's four goals in world record time in the events he's contested. Touching in lane two at the moment is Martinez Tajuelo of uh, Spain, who comes home while in lane one, Janis Kutstakis is going, but this is in lane eight, the Swedish swimmer, Mikael Fredriksson, the 25 year old is coming home. The 423 swimmer at his best is Mikhail Fredriksson. He's being cheered on by a very appreciative crowd who is acknowledging his swim and will will him to the wall. Fredriksson touches in 417.70. So a good time for Fredriksson. A personal best. Swedish coaches are happy and the Swedish flag waving as well for Mikael Fredriksson going in lane eight. But the story is Huang's new world record. And he absolutely smashed the previous mark. Vian Raditz really took it out quite hard and perhaps just ran out a little, uh, ran out of a little steam. In that final 25. Li Hanhua, a great swim. It was, looked as though the bronze was going to be a battle between three or four swimmers until really the final 50 or so. It was a good turn there. And you could see there Vino Radetz building that early lead. He had that beautiful long stroke, but it was Huang, who had somewhere to go with his stroke, he just simply turned it up a notch. And then once again in the final 50, another level he seemed to be able to take it to, just increasing that stroke rate, chopping through the water, slightly shorter stroke, propelling a little more. So another world record falls. 3.09.04 is the new mark. The previous mark, which had stood for six years, was 3.16.45. So he's absolutely smashed the medal. Gold to China, silver to Ukraine, and bronze to China.